Hey guys, in today's video, I will be explaining to you why Amazon isn't the platform to be starting a business on in 2019 if you don't know these three things. So be sure that you stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Bashar Ked too. Uh, welcome to my channel. In my channel, I talk about Amazon FBA and other relatable topics. If this is something you guys like to see more of, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Now, in this video, I'll be explaining to you guys the three things that you must know before starting on Amazon. And really, you should not start on Amazon if you don't know a good explanation and a good understanding of those three things. Number one is the A9 algorithm. Now, what the A9 algorithm is how Amazon ranks your products, right? And it is exactly how your products can show on page one. Now, one thing that many of the beginners may not know is that when you start a new product or you create a new listing on Amazon, actually you get thrown all the way in the back of the mix. Let's say if your product has 20 pages of research or of search, you are going to be thrown all the way to the back of the search engines when locating or when searching a specific keyword. And in order for you to actually generate sales, you have to be on page one and really on the top of page one. Because really guys, think about it. When was the last time you searched for anything on Google or on Amazon or any really any um, search engine and you went to page three, four, five, or even, you know, anything further than that. Typically, I know for myself, I do all of my choosings on the top three to five, maybe even 10 listings. I very rarely go to page two to select a search or to select a result. So most of the times, all of your purchases really happen in the top 10 listings and that is exactly where you want to be. So unless you have a great understanding of how the A9 algorithm works, I wouldn't jump into selling on Amazon. Number two, which is your numbers. If you don't know your numbers, if you're not well versed with finding out and creating budgets and P&Ls and exactly how you can create all that, I wouldn't jump into selling on Amazon. Hell, I wouldn't even jump into selling or creating any type of business really because one thing that I realized and I understood early on in my early years as starting business really was my numbers and the understanding of my numbers, you know. I was taught by my mentor early on that you really don't run your numbers out there you actually run your numbers in here, your, your, I mean, your, your business, you know, your business is ran literally from your computer or if you're your budgets, your, your, you know, your logs, that's how, you know, that's how you can plan for the future. That's how you can actually, you know, uh, plan for how much inventory you can get in, you know, how much expansion you can do. Um, you know, what are your profits? What are your losses? Is this business even worthy of you continuing? You know what I mean? So that is exactly where you need to focus more and understand and learn before you start an Amazon business in 2019 and really just any business. Number three is going to be a solid product research method or methods. You know, I know I teach and I know several methods to locating profitable products to sell on Amazon. Now, regardless what your model is, whether if it's wholesaling, drop shipping, private labeling, regardless of what it is, you need to have a great understanding of how to look a successful product. And because you haven't launched a successful product on Amazon, it is very vital that you understand how that all works and even reach out for someone who can help you with understanding how product research works and even maybe have them analyze a product that you may think that is a great product you know many times i get many beginners saying oh yeah i know what i'm doing i've got product research dialed in and that scares the hell out of me because the question that always comes up to my mind is well you haven't launched a product before so how can you really know for sure that this product that you found is a great product and is actually a product that is worthy right 
of your money and your time. Look, money is replenishable, right? So you can actually spend money today, $500, $1,000 on a product, lose it in a month or two, replenish that money, get another paycheck, right? But time isn't. And that's exactly what I lost when I first started doing this. I went through about $7,000 and five months of failing pretty much. I failed with three products that I launched and just didn't get anywhere, you know? So understand this, no product research methods and reach out for someone that can help you. The question of the day, what model do you personally prefer with selling on Amazon? You know, is it is selling on Amazon something that you have already started? It is something that you are already in? Or is it something you are still thinking? I would like to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Go ahead and let me know if you are into private labeling, wholesaling, arbitraging, drop shipping, regardless of what it is, there's no great answer or wrong answer here. You know, as long as you are making money, you know, the answer is correct. So just go ahead and drop your comments or your choice um, in the comment section. Let me know exactly what is your preferred method of making money on Amazon. Aside from that, guys, Bashar Ketu here, Amazon MBA seller from beautiful San Diego. If you guys found this video helpful and you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, give this video a thumbs up. And I do post twice a week, so be sure that you guys stay tuned. Share this video with your friends, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and you guys have a great day.